I'm Travis Guzzi. I'm the Mission Engagement Facilitator for the Central Region the Southeastern District. And I'd like to welcome you to these new iGo vlogs. Now, I've been vlogging for a while, but what I wanted to do was rebrand these monthly vlogs that I do to more closely align to our Southeastern District's iNeighborhood Initiative that vision of connecting with our neighbors in order to connect people to Jesus. And it's my hope and prayer that through these vlogs that they will help inspire, equip, empower, and resource you as everyday believers to become everyday missionaries. That you can say to yourself, I can go and join Jesus on his mission. Now, I don't know if you realize it, but Jesus is still on his mission today. Uh, now, it's very different than it was 2,000 years ago. Uh, today, he carries out his mission through us, the body of Christ. And so we very literally become his feet to go, his hands that reach, and his voice to speak. And it's through us that he brings that life, that love, and redemption that he won 2,000 years ago uh, through us as we live out that calling, that baptismal calling we have uh, in our everyday callings of life, wherever we live, work, and play. And it's in those opportunities as we love and serve our neighbors in these callings of life that we win a hearing for the gospel. That as people see the light of Christ's love in us, as we build relationships of trust, that we have a chance to share Jesus with them and that they can come to know his saving love the way that we have come to know in our life as well. Now today for this first vlog, I want to talk about something that's on the hearts and minds of many people today, and that's Hurricane Florence. Now here in Southeast Virginia, uh, we have been spared Hurricane Florence as it took a more southerly route yesterday. Now we are getting some of the outer bands of the winds and rains of the storm, but we know it's especially people in North and South Carolina that are in harm's way today. And if you are, uh, we please know that our thoughts and our prayers are with you. We hope that you are safe and that you are able to ride out the storm uh, uh, in a way that uh, you're going to be okay today. But what I want to do is talk about what happens after the storm. That these, uh, as terrible as they are, they really become incredible opportunities for us to love and serve our neighbor and to let the light of Christ's love shine. Uh, many times after a hurricane, it's easy for us to think about, are we okay or is our family okay or maybe even our church family? But as we look around our neighborhood, our community, and it may be just next door, that there are so many opportunities to love and serve our neighbor and let the light of Christ's love shine. Uh, maybe it's uh, with the winds that a tree gets knocked down on a neighbor's home. Or with the floodwaters, maybe there's flood damage in their home and they have to clean up after that. That it's an opportunity for us to, to step in. And, and it's not just us to love and serve our neighbor, but we know that Jesus works through us uh, to let them know that uh, they are not alone that he is with them even in the midst of the storm and, and the after effects. And that it gives us an opportunity, not just in, in what we do, our love and service, but we also get a chance to share the hope of Christ. But it's not just the literal storms of life that we have a chance to do this as well, but it's also those figurative storms of life that come and turn people's worlds upside down. Maybe the death of a loved one, perhaps the loss of a job, perhaps loneliness and isolation, that these become also opportunities for us to step in and as we love and serve them, that people get to know that they are not alone, that God is with them through us, and that it allows us to be able to speak hope and love and comfort into people's lives. And so with uh, this vlog, today, I just want to encourage all of us to look around how can we love and serve our neighbors today in the midst of the storms and especially the aftermath. Uh, what are the opportunities that we can step in and be the presence of Jesus and let the light of Christ's love shine as we love and serve people uh, in, in helping them to clean up in the aftermath of these terrible storms that impacts so many uh, in life. Uh, with that, we want to wish God's blessings, and especially to all of you in the path of Hurricane Florence. Be safe, and uh, afterwards, let us look how we can love and serve our neighbors and reflect Christ's love uh, when the storms are over. God bless you, and uh, we invite you to join us, and we'll catch you next time for our next I Go vlog. God bless. Take care, everybody.